this is 64 pesos. So the next few days, I am gonna do this challenge of 64 pesos. I'm gonna go around in Manila. Ano mabibili ko sa 64 pesos? To visit different places and check out what kind of food can fit into this budget. What is the 64 peso challenge? The past few days, I came across the news. 64 peso kada tao, kada araw ang budget para hindi ka matuturing na food poor. Is it even possible? I'm gonna try and check it out. Now, I'm at the wet market. Excuse me, is there anything that I can fit uh, into a 64 peso budget? 64 peso. Mm -hmm. The one vegetable already costs for 23 peso. Hello. 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 Ano ma bibili ko sa 64 peso? 64 pesos? Oh. Oh. Ito, pagkano to? Ano, isa mo na lang yan, yan. Ah, ag magkano? 330 ang pesos. 330. Okay. Thank you very much. Anong mabibili ko sa 64 peso? Longganisa, pwede yung kusino. Longganisa? Yes po. Uh, magka, ano? Magka... 60? 60. Araga ng 60 pwede. 60, how many? Aling yan? Uh, 3 pieces. 3 pieces? 10. 10 pieces? Yes. So, I can eat how many days for this one? For 2 days. Yeah, shout out. Shout yeah, out? Okay, shout out. You can visit me in Guadalupe Market. Yes, Guadalupe Market. <laughs> Thank you so much. Thank you. So much. Yes. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Can I have two eggs, please? So I just got all of my things here. Later in this video, I'm gonna show you all what kind of food did I bought in this wet market and what did I eat. Next is the happiest place on earth, Jollibee. So I've bought the cheapest item on the menu, which is the vanilla sundae, which cost me already 22 pesos. Sadly, if you only have 21 peso budget, you can't even have a ice cream in Jollibee. So firstly, I bought some vegetable that costs around 23 pesos, so I'm gonna divide this into two meals. And I bought two eggs for two meals for 14 pesos only. Then I bought kakaunti ang pork chop for 60 peso, which I have to divide it into five meals, which sounds so crazy to me because it's kaunti lang. Last month at least, it will be the longganisa I paid for 60 peso for 45 meals. I like to have it for my breakfast. And sorry for being a bad cook, this is the vegetable with pork chop and a little bit of coconut powder. Next up, I went to a supermarket to check out for cheap products. Oh, I love this can. It's 54 peso. It's not enough for me to have a meal here. So now I'm gonna try to find the cheapest sardines because I like sardines. One of the sardines here is already 22 pesos. KG rice for 70 pesos. Which obviously I'm not gonna eat this within a day. It will be a couple of days. Then I check out the vegetables and these are the prices. And I also check out the fruits as well. But it's a bit too pricey so I didn't get it. I got the sardines. Uh, Instant noodles, the chicken instant mummy, if everyone knows it. Rice is very important. <laughs> to give us power, beans, pork and beans. I've never tried this. Oh no, it's actually out of my budget. So if I exclude the rice itself, it is actually, it's actually 76.96 peso excluding the rice because I bought two snacks for myself <laughs> doesn't mean I fail but I think I bought it really cheap like I get I think I get a good deal with most of my things um so it's, if it's included with so if it's included with the rice it's 146.98 pesos I think the food budget it's better if it's not including with my snacks I think then I will be in the budget. I thought I was in the budget. Oh my god. As, as you guys can see, these are the food that I made for my brunch and dinner. So I finished this few days budgeting in uh, different places. Uh, obviously, I failed, especially when I'm in Jollibee. I can't even order a meal. I can only order ice cream. And ice cream itself is already over the budget. Imagine a 
The budget is 21 peso per meal and my ice cream itself is already 22 pesos. Um, so yeah, after I was reading the public comments and, and news, it really triggers me if it's even possible. But I'm not even supporting a family. Imagine if a person is supporting a whole family, wife and the kids, they have to eat as well. And what if the person is holding a minimum wage? It's really struggling. So I just really want to raise awareness for people that people who are still holding 64 pesos per day as a budget, they're still struggling. They might be still as food poor. It's well, some people think that, oh, 21 peso per meal, you're really unthankful for it. Of course, who am I to give an opinion? But I love the Philippines. When I'm going to the wet market, everyone is so nice. They're smiling, they're helping me, they're guiding me, oh, where I can buy cheaper meat, where I can buy cheaper vegetables or eggs. They're really nice and friendly. They're always smiling. So I love them. And, and there's people really struggling and they might need more help and support from men. Or thing you don't you disagree or you agree with me you can leave in the comments uh, thank you so much for watching um, I really appreciate it bye bye